Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great week. Today I'm talking all about this cute little bag from MZ Wallace. So this little bag here is the small metro convertible backpack. <laughs> That's a mouthful, but they have a small version of this one as well as a larger version. And I'm pretty sure the only difference between the two is literally the size. I've never seen the large in person, so I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that those are the only difference. So this color is a gorgeous bright blue. I think that's literally what it's called on the website. I think it's just bright blue. I'll put it down below just in case, but it is so pretty. It was launched in their like neon collection launch, which was over the summer. It sold out super fast. And then some pieces kind of started to come back. And then the minute they would come back, they would sell out really, really fast. So this bag here though, last I checked five seconds ago, was still available on their website. Now the pieces that I have packed inside are from their neon launch and those are really hard to find unfortunately anymore. Um, one of the pieces actually in here, I got off of a buy sell trade page. So those are gonna be hard to come by, but the actual styles of the pouches get released every so often with some of their other launches. So if you like the style of the pouches and and want to get something in it, the odds are they're gonna be released over and over. So just continue to check back. Um, but I love this little backpack. There's a couple of things I wish it had that it doesn't. One of them being a shoulder or a crossbody messenger type strap. I love the two handles here at the top of it. I love that they're kind of still trimmed in this leather here. I'll show you how it opens in the top in a second, which is really unique, but I carry it mostly like this. I kind of throw it over the crook of my arm and that's how I carry it. It is obviously a backpack. It's like a true backpack. The um, straps are like a webbed strap here. They're not removable or anything like that on the top or the bottom, but they are really easily adjustable. So if you don't want to necessarily use the backpack straps, you can adjust them to like the smallest settings and they won't hang down quite like it is on my bag. But I really, really wish it had a shoulder strap. Um, I think it would make the bag um, I don't know if you can maybe add one. I don't, we'd have to play with it, but that is probably my one and only complaint about this bag is the fact that I can't throw it over my shoulder, but it is a backpack. So there you go. <laughs> as far as the opening of the top of this bag, you'll really get to see it when I put the camera down and unpack everything, but it has a cinch here at the top that goes the whole way around. So you can really make it kind of as tight or as loose as you wanted to. It obviously will take a little bit different of a shape if you make it tighter there at the top. But in addition to the drawstring that's at the top of the bag, you do have a zipper closure. So that's kind of nice, especially if you're carrying it as a backpack. You don't want it to be open in the back completely. You wanna be able to have it nice and secure so none of your things um, like fall out or anything like that. Exterior pockets, you have four. They're on the smaller side, because this is a smaller backpack. I imagine obviously the larger one gonna have bigger pockets, but you have one back here in the back with a nice kind of leather zipper pull. You have two side pockets, and then you also have the same pocket here in the front. So let's go ahead, put the camera down so you can see the bag more up close, and I will show you everything I have packed inside. All right, let's go ahead and start with these outside pockets and then make our way inside the bag. In this front one here, like I mentioned earlier, oh, actually I already had it unzipped. It's kind of small. It's almost a little bit hard to get in the top of the pocket, but the actual size of the pocket is pretty big. So if you have smaller items, you can definitely fit a lot in that front pocket. You just can't fit big things in there, if that makes sense. Like right here is pretty much as wide as that pocket will open up. So it'd be hard to put some wallets and things like that. But what I have tucked down in there is my Oventure key ring, which looks so cute with all of the neon things. It's like a cool like neon tie dye, but I have my keys attached to that. And then I think I also have just a hair tie and some chapstick down in that front pocket. Moving on to the back here of the bag, you have pretty much the same size pocket as the front there. And the only thing that I have back here is a handful of face masks, one for me, one for my daughter, one for my son. That's a great pocket for those. 
And then on these side pockets, I don't think I actually have, oh, I have an extra mask down in that pocket, but I was carrying my cell phone. That's a great pocket for that. Cell phones obviously will fit in either of those outside pockets as well. And then over here in this side pocket, I actually have my um, hand sanitizer and I have it attached in here to the leash that is inside the bag. So I just have it kind of sticking out through here just because my kids grab for this all the time and it's just nice to have it on the outside of my bag. So attached to it is my Touchland hand sanitizer and that's just in this little silicone case um, right there. Moving in to the inside of the bag here, I'm gonna loosen up this drawstring so it's pretty much as loose as it will go here. Um, obviously, I have it zipped closed. The zipper does not go all the way sewn into the back, like around all sides. You do have a little opening here, and then you also have a little opening on this side. So it's kind of like a flap over top, if that makes sense. It's still the nice, big, chunky Metro zippers with the leather zipper pull there. You can always tuck this down on the inside if you wish to do so, and just kind of have it open by that drawstring so you don't have to necessarily use the zipper. Like I said before, I have it packed up with all of this gorgeous neon stuff. I absolutely love it. It makes me so happy to look down at it. It's such fun colors. So most of these you can't find, but the bag is still on the website for sure. So attached over here to the drawstring that is around the top of the bag, I have the medium link pouch. There's three different sizes of this little link pouch from MZ Wallace. I have all three in a couple of the different colors. Whenever they launch, I grab one right away because I absolutely love them. But inside here, I actually have um, all of my cards. So it's acting as my wallet. I won't open it or unzip it because you'll be able to see my cards, but nice big chunky zippers and a cool little zipper pull. But this is that like pink neon that I'm using for my wallet. Then over here on this side, I kind of have the same concept going on. It's again attached to the inside drawstring here just so I can grab it easily. And I have another link pouch in the same bright blue that the bag is in. And you guys have seen this actually in a couple of my videos already, but inside this one, I just have my studio earbuds. I get asked about these all the time and I always forget to link them, but I will try to remember. Um, the brand is studio and they look kind of like that. They're, I guess, rose gold or rose pink at the top, I don't know, but I love them. I think that they fit my ear really well. I also have the charger kind of tucked down in the bottom of this um, link pouch and then attached, I have a external charger if I need it and this is made by the company Packed Party. The only other thing I have packed in the big bulk of this bag is two pouches and then I'll show you all of the pockets and the zippers that are also on the inside. This pouch here, I have packed up with all of my small kind of miscellaneous things. I have like little mini med kit for the kids. I have a big scrunchie healer stick always. My travel scissors from Erin Condren, lip gloss, all of that kind of stuff I have in here. Um, my medicine, um, things like that, band-aids, hair ties, all of that fits inside this little pouch here. And then in the pouch right next to it, I love this pouch. They release this a lot um, with different releases. The neon one obviously is absolutely darling because of all of the different colors. Um, but I believe this one is the Sam, if I'm not mistaken. I have it in another print as well. But you have this cute little handle here on the side and then you have two zippered compartments. Um, in this one here in the front, I actually just have a few activities for the kids. Um, this was my son's Ninja Turtle bracelet that he had on. Um, but I have a deck of cards. These are some of those wiki sticks. I have little mini cars and then these little story cubes. So it's just a couple of things to keep them busy if we're out to eat or something like that. And then in the pocket right next to it, I actually have a package of wet ones for um, hands and then two or three of these Z-Bar granola bars if my kids like need a snack. So this is kind of like all of the kids stuff that I would need. You do have the traditional MZ Wallace Metro pocket back here in the back. It has their little tag here. And then when you open up, you have two additional pockets on the inside here of this bag. I actually didn't have anything in this back pocket. I didn't really need to. And then when you turn the bag around to the front, you have two interior pockets. And in this one here, I just have my hand cream that I've been loving. And then I also have tucked down in this pocket, a small pack of um, Kleenex tissues. 
All right, I think that does it for today's video. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I will have everything linked in the description box. But if you can't find something, shoot me a message. I'm always happy to help. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.